Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the best bang for your buck when redeeming your points from your credit card. Now this is a Chase credit card and they have a lot of different options to redeem your points. Now I thought, well, I'll just pop those points on Amazon. I really never messed with the points, but I've seen there were some on there. So I said, we'll just put them on Amazon. And so I went on Amazon and I didn't really look at the numbers, but I kind of looked at it and I thought, well, I wonder what it would look like getting cash back. So you can see right here, there's 26,000 points. You'd get $212 at Amazon. And the second option is cash back. So if you look at the cash back, you get 265 versus the 213 so it seems like it'd be a lot better deal i don't know why you'd want to do that maybe for tax purposes but that is a pretty big difference even the third way and there's actually a couple other ways but the third way says pay yourself back and i guess that would even be a better way because you can see right here you get 10 percent more so instead of a penny for a point you're actually going to get a 10% back. So you could go on whatever purchases that you had made in the past and apply those points to those purchases and it would pay for those purchases at a 10% rate. So that would probably be one of the best ways. Now they have where you can go shopping and earn more points and it seems like it gets a little more complicated, but like right here, which I don't like gift cards, but you could choose a gift card and it's a point by point two. So that would be the same thing as uh, taking cash back it's point for point but definitely Amazon is the worst way to go I'm not for sure why that is I'd love to hear what you think about points and how you redeem your points and what you use your reports for and what you think is the best bang for your buck on redeeming those points mm -hmm.